If you make this one simple mistake, it might just ruin, at the very least, the next six years of your life, if not very much more than that. So I'm going to explain what it is so you can avoid doing it. So welcome back, I'm the Black Belt Barrister helping you to understand law and fighting for your rights. So this is a true story about what happened to one of our clients. Now obviously I can't tell you any personal details but I can certainly tell you what happened and how to avoid it. So this person was looking to sell one of her designer items but she didn't want to go through the time and hassle of putting it on eBay or anywhere else like that. So instead she asked around her friends and before long one of them said my cousin is interested in buying it, how much do you want for it? The two got to talking by text messages and agreed upon a price. Again, before long, money was transferred into her bank account and she gave this item to her friend to transfer over to her cousin. Only that was just the beginning of her problems. Now, on the surface, nothing looked suspicious about this transaction at all. But a month or so later, she got an alert from her bank that it was going to close and she had to withdraw her money, gave her a limited amount of time to get her money out of the bank and then the bank account was going to be closed. Not really understanding why this had happened, she tried to speak to the bank, but the bank would not talk to her at all. She duly took the money out of the bank account and the bank account was closed. And then only when she tried to open another bank account, she realized that actually all of her cards had been canceled. All of her bank accounts had been canceled. And only when she tried to open a new bank account did she realize that she was added to the CFAS database. This is a database that keeps track of people who are engaged in fraudulent activity. Now, in my view, this person had nothing to do with fraud at all. I would like to think that in this profession, I can generally tell when someone's lying to me. And I don't think she was. I think she was being genuine and honest throughout the whole process. But nonetheless, she was added to the CFAS database. This information was spread through all of the banks and credit providers, meaning she could not get a bank account or credit account anywhere whatsoever. Now, this information was going to last for at least six years, if not indefinitely. So this person's whole life had been put on hold effectively because she had no means of access to electronic money, electronic payments, credit contracts, even mobile phone contracts. All of those were cancelled as well because the fact that she was added to this database meant nobody trusted her and thought she was a fraudster. Now, as I said, I don't think this person was actually any kind of fraudster whatsoever. So how can you avoid doing this? Well, this raises a significant concern about giving someone your bank details because it appears that what had happened is that this person had reported this transaction as fraudulent even though that person had paid her the money into her bank account. But it appears that that was then reported as a fraudulent sale. And so the bank had obviously taken the money out, given it back to the person who had paid the money in and added this person to the CFAS fraud database. So now you will see on your banking apps, you will see lots of little messages saying, are you sure you trust this person? Are you sure this is a genuine transaction? And making the people make the payments authorize that this is a genuine payment, it's not fraudulent, they've checked the details and all of these kind of things. Because the banks are presumably, and I would certainly hope, trying to stop people being added to the CFAS database when they hadn't ought to be on there because they're not actually fraudsters in the first place. So next time you're thinking about giving your bank details out to somebody, think very carefully, remember this video, like it if you found it useful and share it with someone who you feel is going to get trapped and caught out by this. And thanks for watching.